All right, here we go. This is Mr. Brust. Welcome to the next chapter. Great job getting through equations there with Mr. Sullivan and Mr. Kelly. Now we're going to look at things that aren't equal. We're going to take a look at inequalities. So lots of inequalities out there. Uh, here's an inequality right here. These are not balanced uh, money. Some people have more money than other people. So we're looking at things that aren't equal. So you can see that's lopsided. Uh, some people have more money. What else is not equal? Well, if you look at Mr. Sullivan's head right there, if you look at his hair and compare it to Mr. Brust's hair, he doesn't quite have as much hair as Mr. Brust. So we say Mr. Sullivan's hair is less than Mr. Brust's hair. What else is not equal? Um, take a look at my uh, Twitter account. If you notice, I have 48,000 likes there. And what does Mr. Kelly have? He has one like. I'm pretty sure that's from his mom. Uh, but my likes are way more than Mr. Kelly's likes. So I would say that Mr. Brust is greater than Mr. Kelly on Twitter. Awesome. So let's make sure we're good at those symbols. I started using them already. Jot these bad boys down. We're going to use these this whole chapter. We're looking at things that aren't equal. They're inequalities. Uh, they're bigger or less than the other one. So let's take the first one. These here on the left are greater than. So this symbol is greater than. If it has the bar underneath, it means it's greater than or equal to. Things that we're looking for there is like eight is greater than six. So we've used this forever. You've seen these before. The alligator or the Pac-Man eats the bigger number. You ever do Pac-Man? Homp, homp, eats the bigger number. It's eating the eight because it's bigger. Awesome. What about these guys over here? Well, we've got less than. So this is the less than symbol. I always kind of hold my hand up and it looks like an L if you hold your hand up for less than. Uh, if it has the bar underneath, it's less than or equal to. So what is that going to be? Four is less than nine. Something like this. The last one of the symbol, you maybe haven't used this last one very often. It is not equal to. So it can be not equal to. And we're going to do something like this. Eight is not equal to four. They're not the same thing. So. Uh, that is also an inequality. Basically, if it's not an equal sign, it's an inequality. We're looking at non-equal signs. Rock and roll. So let's knock a few of these out here. So check it out. We're going to look at the left side only here. In fact, I'm going to even cover up the right side. Let's just look over here and make sure we're good. If I give you this inequality, I'm saying x is some number that's greater than 4. So I'm looking for a number. So if I'm going to say it in words, x is a number, and that's the symbol for greater greater than four, jot that down. So we're gonna sort of write it out. X could be any number in the world greater than four. It could be five, it could be six, it could be 147, I don't know. How do we graph that on a number line? So we find the number four and we circle it. We say, whoosh, there's four. I want every number greater. So five works, six works, seven works. What about 5.2? 5.2 works, 6.3. Every little thing forever and ever to infinity works. So I'm going to have to shade all of these. So shade this bad boy in. We're going to shade right in the number line. Draw a big fat arrow right there. These are all the numbers bigger than 4. Boom. There it is. I love it. So what's a couple of possible solutions? I don't know. X could be 7. There it is in my number line shaded. X could be 24. X could be 5.2. I'm just making these up. It's anything bigger than 4. It just can't be down here in the negatives or 2 or less than four. Awesome. I'm going to fill at the bottom here in a second. Let's, let's show it over here so maybe this will kind of help us get that bottom part too. What about this inequality? If I read this, uh, n is a number. That's what? It's a number that is less than, that's the less than sign, less than or equal to, equal to two. <laughs> equal to two. Uh, it's a number less than or equal to 2. So I want you to write that out so I make sure that you know that this is the less than sign. So n is a number less than or equal to 2. So what do I do? Find that number 2, and I'm going to say here it is right here. Where are all the numbers less than 2? Well, 1 is less than 2. Negative 3 is less than 2. It's all these numbers over here. So I'm going to shade all this in right on that number line. Not above it, not below it, right on it. Get shady right in there. Some of you guys are shady. Shade that right in. Boom, big fat arrow. There it is. But in this case, it's a number less than 2 or equal to 2, so i got to fill in the dot. It can actually be 2. So that's I'm going to have a closed dot on that. What are possible solutions? Eh, negative 14. That's over here. What else is over there? I see a 0. I see 1. Could it be 2? Yes, 2 is also a solution because I am. it could be equal to 2. Awesome. So that's how we do it. That is really it in a nutshell right there. Jot this down for your notes. So 
if I have, what does an open dot mean? What is this open dot right here? I can see it, there it is. An open dot means you do not include. So the, the number is not included. Kind of like Mr. Uh, Kelly growing up, not included. Boom, there it is. So the open circle means you don't include four. The solution is not included. What if you have a closed dot like this? Then it is included. There it is that you have it included right there. The number two is part of the solution set. So what we're doing now, instead of getting a number like X is four or X is five, we're getting a solution set. So this is all about finding the set of numbers that make it true. So it's called a solution set. If it's an open dot, the number is not included in the solution set. If it's a closed dot, the number is included. And notice it matches directly to the bar underneath. If it is equal to, then we include it. If there's no bar underneath, if it's just a greater than or less than sign, it's an open circle. Dude, that's some fancy notes right there. That looks good. All right, let's keep this going here. Uh, so to keep this, let's practice a little bit. I'm not gonna make you write this one out. Hopefully you can realize this is x is greater than or equal to negative four. So what am I gonna do? I see the little equal to, so I know it's a solid dot. So go to negative four, I'll put a solid dot. Where are the numbers that are bigger than negative four? Well, they're over here to the right. These are bigger, they're more positive. So I'm gonna shade all this in. I need a thicker marker here, that's gonna take me forever. Shade all that in, boom, excellent. Is x equals two a solution? Right here it is, I can see it, yeah, it's bigger, that is two bigger than or equal to negative four? It sure is. I can use that number line to quickly see it's shaded, so definitely it is. Or you can say two is bigger than negative four. I'd rather have $2 and $04. Awesome, how about this one? What about y? y is less than one, so it's not equal to one, so I gotta circle it up, Whoopsh, there it is. I want all the numbers less than, so I'm gonna shade this. Ooh, that, my shading is shady. I hope yours looks a little nicer than that. Color in the arrow here, it's all the numbers less. Is zero a solution? I can see zero right there. Yes, it is. If I wanna double check it in my inequality, is zero less than one? Yes, Y could be any number less than one. All right, here we go. Let's bring the pain a little bit here. Uh, check out this bad boy. What's different about this one? Well, this says three is less than or equal to T, which is cool. Some people are pretty cool with just reading this backwards. What does that mean about T? Well, T is some number, if you read it backwards, that's greater than or equal to three. But some people don't like to read it backwards, so I like to flip it. I think it's just a little bit easier if we flip it around. So let's put the, the T first here. So remember the Pac-Man or the alligator is eating the T, so he still needs to be eating the T here. We're actually gonna flip the letter and it flips the sign with it. This, I think, is a better way to read it from left to right with a letter first. So here, T is greater than or equal to three. So now it's much easier to say, hey, let's find three. Because it's equal to, I'm gonna put a nice closed dot on three, and I want all the numbers bigger than a three. So if you're really good at reading backwards, just read it backwards. But I would highly, 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 highly recommend, let's just flip that bad boy, just make sure the sign flips too. And there's my nice shaded uh, inequality right there. Is t equals one a solution? Well, here's one on your number line. Is that solution? No, it doesn't fall in the solution set. No way, and it makes sense. One is not greater than or equal to three. Maybe you've noticed something here along the way. If you like to write that letter first, check it out. See how I had, uh, when you have x is greater than four, if this, it's like a little arrowhead pointing. If you draw the arrow, it's like the arrowhead pointing right, you shade right. When y is less than one, see how it's everything down here? See how that's like the arrowhead right there? Isn't that pretty cool? So if you put the letter first, it tells you which way you shade to the right. So uh, to help you with your shadiness, uh, just write the letter first and it tells you which way to point. Awesome, let's take a look at the, the weird one here or the obscure one, n does not equal two. Well, how do you graph that? What does that mean? N could be anything but two. N could be three, N could be five, N could be negative seven, N could be whatever you wanted. It just can't be two. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna circle the two and it's everything above. Anything bigger than two will work. Anything bigger than two is not two. How about anything less than two? That'll work too. Oh, two won't work though. So we've got everything above it, everything below it, N is not two, those are all my possible answers. So I have infinite answers, infinite answers above, below, is N equals negative five? Sure, I shade that in, definitely. Everything's a solution except for two, and a summer is not two. Fantastic, moving on. All right, let's wrap it up here, last two problems. What if I give you the solution set? So again, this is called the solution set. It is graphed, these are all the answers. So we have to graph it, because 
Before it was just x equals 2. Now it's any number that could be less than 2. So we're talking about an infinite set of numbers. So what is this one? Oh, here we go. We're looking at the number negative 2, and I'm going to say x is my variable. I want all the ones that are what? Greater than or less than? These numbers to the right are all greater than. Because it's a closed circle, it's also equal to. So this is the inequality that represents this. X is greater than or equal to negative 2. Is 2 a solution? There it is right there in the shade set. I'm going to say yes, definitely it is in there. Awesome. How about this one over here? Last one here. I know it's happening at negative 1. So I'm at negative 1. I want all the numbers less than negative 1. So it's pointing this way. The arrow points that way. Uh, do I include negative 1? No, it's not inclusive because it's an open circle. So I'm good to go there. Is negative 1 a solution? Can I put negative 1 and get this? No, it can't be. It's not inclusive of negative 1. It's not included. Let's take a poor Mr. Kelly. Not going to be part of the solution set. There it is right there. Um, good luck on the practice. Check those out. Grade those. And the master check. Peace out.